Hey everyone and welcome to the nose cone section of the rocket building series. So you're going to want to start with a piece of paper. You're going to need a pencil in order to draw. You're going to need a protractor or really any, anything round that will help you draw a perfect circle. Now, you can start with the protractor. I know a lot of people don't like to use it, although it really comes in handy and I'll explain why in a little bit. You really only need something round. I just chose this. Uh, you could get something bigger if you wanted. There's a, a bigger container or even using like a lid off of a Tupperware or something like that. You can use something smaller. It really doesn't matter. It just needs to be able to help you draw a round, uh, a perfect round circle. So <clears throat> you're going to draw this in and then you're ready to move on. You're ready to cut this out. So you're going to need a pair of scissors and just go ahead and cut this out. Now one of the reasons I do like actually using a protractor is the protractor leaves a, a spot or a dot where the center of your circle is. In the next steps we're actually going to end up cutting a radius into the circle so it's helpful if it marks the exact center. Not necessary as you'll see I'll just choose a spot but it definitely helps to have that radius marked or that center point marked in your circle. So once you have everything cut out, just like this, here you've got your perfect circle and you're ready to go. Now one of the things you're going to need to do, like I said, is you're going to cut a radius in. So you're going to cut about into half of the circle. Now this next part's a little bit tricky. It takes a little bit of time and practice, but you're going to hold one side of the cut in one hand and one side in the other and you're just going to rotate it. You're going to rotate it around just like that. So take it, there it is, on the side, just rotate around. And it's going to start to make what looks like a cone. And then you're just going to take each side uh, that you were working with and just kind of work it and twist it and twist it and work it until it becomes more and more of a cone shape. Okay, now at this point you're going to want to grab your rocket body and start to line it up. And if you notice, okay, well, this doesn't line up at all. So you're going to keep working it, keep working it, keep twisting, keep it, get it, keep it going until you get it to the size that you want. So once you get to a size that you're happy with, you feel like, okay, that makes a good fit or that looks like it's going to fit nicely onto my rocket body, then you're going to, now apparently I wasn't happy, get your piece of tape <clears throat> and just go ahead and tape that up. And really once you have this thing taped up and lined up just like that, you're pretty much done with your nose cone. So there it is, a completed nose cone.